two, one, showtime. Greetings and good afternoon. Welcome to all the viewers and listeners on the Primal 4K app. I'm on Fit FM 96.7 here in Jamaica and also Facebook, Instagram. I'm your host, Dale Parham. And I'm Kane the Shrub Watson. Welcome you all to Primal Sports. Center. I mean, the coach is back. Yes. I'm back from Guyana. You had a hiatus for, for two weeks. I mean, I almost missed it here, but I know you'll yeah. be back. Yeah. I was a bit concerned if you, you know, because your life nice down Guyana. You know, things going on down there, Guyana. And yeah. it, you know, flowing. Yes, it was a good, it was a good trip. It was good a good outing tr- for the. The, for the team, you know, yeah. you know, um, a lot of the guys been asking for the senior team. Oh, you know, where's no. Kane? Where's Chris? Where's Peter? I'll tell you, you well, know, and well, a little no. bit. This, they were a little bit disappointed. You know, what, what, what can we say? But we won't, yeah. we won't dive into that yeah. so much. We did that in past weeks, but yeah. we have a big lineup this week. And we show. To our fans. Yeah, uh, yeah, we ap- <laughs> apologize to my fans yes. down there in Ghana that you know we didn't show up because you know when we show up, we put out so yeah, yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a good trip. But <laughs> then, let me give you the rundown to this week because we'll have again, um, on Primal Sports here, the the man who's in charge of Phoenix Football Academy here in Jamaica, he'll be join us, he will join us in about seven minutes to discuss um, mm, the new signing. Mm, mm. Of Mr. Whisper, Dejan Richards. Mm. Among so, other things, because you want to hear things. what's going on, because you know, he has, always have things going on in and around in his camp. So, yes. always look out for players and, you know, yes. big things. Yes. Always big things, yes. you know. Yes. So, I think he's the trendsetter when it comes on to um, professionalism within local football here in Jamaica. Mm. And also, will join us later in the show is Ricardo Rich, um, Robert Richards, yeah. former um, many times national badminton champion of Jamaica. He's over there in Miramar. Um, he's at the invitation on the track mm. and field invitation. And he'll also discuss the passing of former great local badminton player, Garth King. Yeah, so he'll know. join us in about Because it's interesting, interesting to hear what's going on down there in Miramar because, yeah. you know, track and field season is buzzing. The last week we had the boys and girls championships and after they're on straight show till the summer we have track mix coming up. We see the big stars coming out. We see Oblique Seville, Akeem Blake, Sherika Jackson, you know, open their accounts abroad and, and running meets. So we look forward to the track season. Yes. It's in full swing if you ask me because boys and girls champs to me is an elite premier event. Always June, it's of a high quality where we see Big pe- big big people time I run because last week some Apart time from run. The Olympics though, King, boys and girls champs maybe is the biggest track and field meet. And world championships, and Olymp- Olymp- world championships. Um, um, well, no, yeah, world championships. Well, 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 I've never I, seen a champ. Here where you said, oh, Doha. I'm, Doha. Well, well, it's Doha. Well, I'm not I saying. Mean. Champs is never empty. So I, I put champs number two behind <laughs> I want to be champs, you know, when them say wave. And yeah. you see the people come around. Mexican and wave It's and like everybody just come together as Jamaicans and just celebrate that event. And see where the fans just in yeah. unison to witness a spectacle. Spectacle because these times the juniors are, are putting out are, are remarkable. Because I can date back to like 20 years ago. To where the times were then, yes. where they are now, yes. and with the likes of Veronica Campbell Brown, twenty-year-old ad record being broken, and we see where Veronica Campbell Brown, what she is for Jamaican check and field. I mean, her stature says it all. She's out there in the park. So to see athletes now doing what they did and out doing what they did yeah. with the times, it just shows that the future is is bright. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And um, ten nine two nine point nine nine. Yes. Just to state a few times. I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're almost missed out on um, the character games. It's in Bahamas currently yeah, going, on Bahamas going on now as well. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's another big um, event yeah. um, for Jamaica. Itself, yeah. you know, yeah. Next week, we'll, we'll, we'll try to have a breakdown on that as well. Hopefully, Hubert Lawrence can come in studio and, and give us a, a, a breakdown of what's going, what went down in Bahamas. But they're currently there. And, you know, character is like Jamaica Sports Day. We go there and get a host of medals, but not only that, we can't take it for granted. But to see the athletes go out there, you know, wave the flag high and just bring back medals goes to show that we have to yeah, you, you, to compete you, and dominate. Yeah, we, we can never take it for granted. We cannot I take agree, it for granted. I do agree no. with that. Yeah, you know, yeah. we must always keep pushing yeah. forward yeah. regardless. You know, yeah. um, it's just that for me, I think that it's time for us to send our second tier athletes to some of these games. You know. 
Um, but we discussed that. What is second on. tier, though? I mean, I'm, second I mean, tier is, I mean, is still when, when, top when, tier. When, when you attend Carifta games and you know you you you, you have won it before, I think you know. Um, we're Why not dumb, win we're, it again? We're so dominant within the region. I think that um, at times some of the athletes can can give the second tier athletes some exposure, you know. Um, but we will we we'll save that for later yeah, because later I have my opinions. And yeah, I know you're touching on the end crewman situation where yes, he, yes. he seemed to be seemed to pull up with a cramp. Yes, yeah. in the Bahamas. Um, well, wish him a speedy recovery, and I hope it's not too serious because big things ahead for the year. And Making the senior team. Senior team. Yeah, and, and he's he's 19 year old, and now is the time to make that transition from junior to senior. And we want to see him out there. All right, but I, was, the I wasn't here, Kane. I wasn't here last week. So tell me what happened in the stadium. I mean, what was it like witnessing the first sub 10? By yeah, a, I was by in the stadium. Was, I mean, to me, I was probably equally impressed or a bit more impressed with Alana Ridge 10.92 yes. because I saw the semifinals and and crew may look comfortable running 10 0 Yeah. Because even before that semifinals, I was saying, break the record and then just bring him the gold medal because, you know, we want him to win the gold. So he broke the record in the semis running 10 0 But I'm saying, if he ran 10 0 looking so comfortable, sub 10 is possible. Yes. And I was saying, all right. So I was looking forward to that sub 10. I'm like, all right. Even before the race, I was saying 998, 999 to my, to my friend beside me. I was saying 998, 999. So I expected that. But Alana reached Serena Cole. That build up was like, all right. My friends were saying Serena Cole. That was, that was I was big, saying was Alana Reed, Ariana Reed, because you know, we like the athletes who are more slender. The more Slim. powerful athletes now tend to be not as graceful, but so we like the Brianna Listens, the Alana Reeds, the. Yeah. You know, this Alison Felix, those slender type built athletes. But I was going to Alana Reed, I know it was going to be a tough race, but unfortunately, Serena Cole pulled out, which. Kudos to our team, because once you feel something, I feel that you should just pull out. Especially as youngsters, where the future is bright and ahead of them. So that was dubbed up the D race of the championships, but Alana Reed, Serena Cole, Serena, Serena Cole, Cole pull out. But that race that Alana Reed really run from start to finish, the so execution. You're, so you're saying that's your race of the chance. Yeah, execution so from start to finish, she ran the race totally. And Kruman okay. was more looking to the side, reaching for the line. And I think if he ran a better... 100 meters could have run a faster time, but yeah. both are well, future still stars. Still kind of looking around, eh? Yeah, still, still kind of looking around. Yeah, so right. both going pro, I should feel. Alana Reed, uh, they won't be returning to champs, but they did they did produce a spectacular champs. And I mean, my gosh, 999, 10.92. I give it 51.49. Again, Alana Reed, the edge because Nkrumi, I expected it. Yes. So at 51.49. She I was get, more of a surprise. Yeah, 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 so... First right. year class one, but we touch more and check on you later. And Casey capturing the 34th title, Heidel, the first title. We break that down further on the show, but kudos to them. I win by two points. I mean, yeah, Edwin we, and a lot of mishaps. Yeah, Edwin yeah. and Allen kind of gave away. Casey won it from Friday. Yes. <laughs> we by six um, points. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that a little bit later on in yeah. the show. But now, let us welcome to Primal Sports once again the man who's in charge of Phoenix Football Academy, the man. Um, who's responsible for um, Leon Bailey's career and also the, the new sensation, Dujan Richards. Welcome, Mr. Craig Butler, the primal. Hi, how are you guys? All uh, right, things are good Thank on all. Yeah, man, you know, it's a pleasure. You know, you're a busy man, always up and down. And thanks for taking the time out to, to be with us again and, and fit us in your schedule, you know? No problem, man. It's tight and I apologize for last week. No, no problem. Uh, I <laughs> yeah, hectic. Yeah, no problem. That that's that's good. And I know you're as I said before, you're a busy man. But before we get into that, how are things on your end? Everything cool? Very good, man. No. Uh, you picked up a hamstring injury today. Who is that? I'm a little concerned. Which Leon, is that? you picked up yeah. a hamstring injury today. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, competing. Mm hmm. That's the yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah versus not Nam Forest. So I'm a little bit worried about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, this is the second arm. So, yeah. this is so, the second type of injury? The second arm of the same? The yeah, second or third, actually. Third, yeah. hamstring. Yeah. So, on, the same, on the same leg? Yeah. No. So, no different one. Oh, different. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, when, yeah. we know Aston Villa has 
top level physios and doctors that are it right away. Yep. Yeah, man. So, but, you know, as, as yeah, I'm not worried I mean, about that at all. Yeah. Not only as his agent, but as his, I mean, basically his father figure member. You're, I know you have to be concerned. Yeah, I'm concerned. I mean, what can you say? Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, you, you know, we are wish because people. Once he was, you know, his team is, is now in sixth position and he's playing well and he's delivering and he's starting and he gets another setback, you know? Yeah. yeah but if he was yeah. a race as a Phoenix with that fighting spirit in him, it would be, I'd be really worried. But I know that he knows how to fight back and to come back stronger than before. And this yeah. is what happens to all the great athletes. You really check all of them. You check Arian Robin, you check all of those wingers, Cristiano Ronaldo, all of them, they, they consistently have an, um, an, um, consistently have a situation, a situation where they get a lot of injuries. Yeah. Yeah, man. Get injuries yeah, yeah, you regularly, to, you know. Yeah, yeah you have to bounce back from the... Yeah, uh, and, and that that yeah. goes to say, even sports is attached to life. Cause sports, I tell kids that I like when kids do sport, cause it teaches a life lessons where you will have setbacks and you bounce back, and it just goes to show reflecting all in life. You have to keep persevering, keep persevering, and with sports that always, always tests you. Cause you can't win every day, you can't be up every day, but you love it and you bounce back and go forward. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sure. Yes, well, you know, you know what's on everybody's mind about, um, you know, Whisper. We want to know what's 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 the current situation with um Dijon. Well, he's he's a Chelsea player. He's he signed to Chelsea. He has a pre contract, and all the arrangements have been made for him to join the club. So we're we're excited for him. It's the biggest. Um, in our history in terms of transfers. And one of the, I mean, it's phenomenal in that we have moved him. You know, I've moved Leon to, and Kyle to Europe, then spent a little bit of time there learning and developing, and then sending them off. And then they, they launched. I actually came back to, to Wisp and his, his teammates and built them with the knowledge learned from Europe, and then launch him directly from here. Yeah. Instead of going to Europe and building up, he directly from here so to I a think, big club. Yeah, but, yeah but, but think about it even worse than that. There's, I don't think it's ever happened in the history of English football, and that's why it's been added to the challenge, that a player was not, was not in a club you know, is transferring directly from an academy in a yes. small island to yes. the first team. It's not like he's even transferring to a, an academy. He's going straight to the first team. So, mm. you know, this is a huge accomplishment for for um, Whisper and a huge accomplishment for Jamaica and for Phoenix because mm. it, it, it's, it, it speaks to the opportunities now that are going to start opening up across Europe, people won't take Phoenix for granted because those who lost out on Whisper, you know, they don't want to lose out on the next Whisper. So now we're yeah, very, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're very, um, we're very welcome by these clubs and um, yeah. we're looking forward to the possibilities of even more players going. Yeah, man, you're going to be in high demand, man. Yeah, open. Everybody will be looking towards um, Phoenix Academy now. I guess even here locally, you know, I, I know a lot of people will be trying to get into to your academy. So what it is like since with the signing of Whisper in terms of the local market here for, for you? Well, the thing is I don't recruit, period, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, you don't have to anymore. <laughs> I never yes. did. I never okay. did. And that's what gives us the strength and the loyalty of our players because if a player is willing to leave his club for you um, at 16, it means that whatever that club did for him, he's willing to betray that club. 
And yeah, yeah. there's a saying, same farm that stick sheep, stick goats. So you won't have the loyalty if somebody come, else comes with a bigger offer. So it's always best to develop your own talent from their young. I don't say that we won't take in players that may have good possibility of a transfer and to move on. But um, from a business model perspective, it's always good to develop your own product and market it and sell it. Yeah. Yeah, so so from you 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 talk about let's talk a little bit about Phoenix. Um from you, you start from from um from what what age group you start from? Oh, I think our youngest player is JC and he's now about five. And um five. yeah, and, but Leon and Trap is two little ones. We have them, but we're not we're not pushing them yet, we're just enjoying them, you know, letting them play. But you see it, it's different thoughts about development. I know that children at three, four years old do not have the attention span to actually take coaching. But how they learn at that age is that they, they look and, and mimic, they follow, you know? Yeah. And um, so what we do is we take a whole group of young ones to bring them in at that age and we give them a ball and say, listen, do anything you want. If you want to chase, chase grasshoppers with the ball, no problem. But while that is going on, they're watching yeah. the other play. And they're actually wanting to be on the pitch, they're developing the love for the game, the desire, and then they start to want to learn. So yeah, yeah. we take them from there, they're pretty young and um grow from from girls and stuff. We have had JCM, for example, since he was three. Since before he could talk. Yeah. You know? Okay, so so, so who so who who is the next Who's the next prospect that you have there at Phoenix? Well, Daniel Mitchell is heading to Aston Villa in, in a matter of days, I believe. He's just waiting on his visa from um, the UK embassy in Jamaica, and then he will go. We have um, Zane Finnow, we have um, Dante Peralto, we have Xander Vignell, we have um, players like Mario Sims, um, and Denzel McKenzie, you know, so we're looking now for the next trip is to, to we probably will go to Man- Okay. Mm-hmm. The teams, you know, Lomel and, um, and um, Girona in, in Spain, and also some of Chelsea's partners as well. And from there, we'll, we'll play those games and establish again They'll see our top players and we'll, we'll go for the, the, the same model that we did with Bristol. Yeah. Mm. All right. So, so we can expect these players now. The, most of these players are of, of what age group? Manning Cup, under 19, under 18 level? Youngsters. Not there, we have one player that's between the ages of 17 and... Mm. and uh, and 90 on the money cup level so what they'll do which is the model we work with is they'll go on tour in june mm-hmm. and we will come back play the money cup and then we we start to send them out on final trial in january how bad it is and i i agree with that but one of the things that, that Breaking up. Break. It has recognized that. You hear me? No, you're breaking yeah, up breaking a bit. Breaking up slightly. Breaking Hello? up slightly. Mm. We lost you yeah. at, at, at June, going to January. Coming back after June, you said money cut yeah. season in January. You broke up after that. So we, we come in, we go to the tournament, we go and play one tour in June. Yeah, yeah. We come back, and then we right after exam, six seasons. And then yeah. we come back, and then we go into the money progress. Mm-hmm. Um, you hear me? Yeah, we're hearing you. Yeah, so they, we, we go in June on tour. We come back for the money cup season, and then we we go into um, in January. Then we, we start to send them out on individual um, trainings with the different clubs that are interested yeah. in them. Yeah. And then from there, we uh, we move the players. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a model. So how, how, do, how do you get these clubs' interest? 
Like, for example, how would a club like Aston Villa know about the play you've aforementioned? Well, one of the main things that we do is we built, first of all, we built a reputation and we yeah. built our relationships with these clubs. You know, so over the years, I personally have been going to the clubs, meeting with them, and I've earned their respect because a lot of Jamaicans, when they get their players, they're willing to sell them up for little or nothing to any club in, in, in the push leagues just to get yeah. the small money rather yeah. than represent their clients zealously and seek to find good ways to get them into the best Top that club. they can be. And, yeah, and um, clubs, so, so the clubs have all gotten a lot of respect for me and me for them and we built relationships with those clubs over the years. I mean, I've, I've had relationships, relations with Genk and Bruges and Ajax spending back almost 15 years now. So the, the whole idea is they have, we, have, we have that interest, but also we have to ensure that we have a product. So we, we use something, uh, a, a camera system that actually records every touch of every player that we have, and then we put them together in a profile. And that profile is then delivered to the prospective club for them to review. And then that's where the relationship comes in, because when they're reviewing, they've had the... Uh, interest from 1,000 people trying to get you to look at their videos. Yeah, yeah. Because of the relationship, they'll look at our videos. And because of the quality of the players, they'll be happy to see them. Make sure your product is good and you have to have the relationship so that the buyer will be interested in working with you. Yeah, that, that is key. Because if you didn't know these clubs, as I said, firsthand, because if I send, it'd be like, who is, who is me sending a video of which player to his club? So it, it's, yeah. it's definitely necessary to have a, a, social a foundation where networking. they know who you are, they know what you're about, they know what you're doing, and then you have produced before and you keep producing. So uh, to me, exactly. that, is, that is key where that relationship right there breaks down all the barriers of breaking into it. Exactly. Because you don't want to exactly. work with a man and you don't know, be like, oh, who, who this guy? when you have thousand other people you say <laughs> trying to break through break through break through exactly yeah, yeah yeah so tell me what 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 were your thoughts on um the exclusion of of um Dijon, um in that in the mexico game in, the, in, whole, in the, the whole squad this, this the nations league match because we, we saw him represent jamaica in the trinidad. trinidad games and most people were saying all right he's in the national setup and even here, we thought we, he would have been a part of that squad if, if, he, if he didn't play, say, but at least a part of the squad to get that exposure, go to the Aztec and be a part of the team because, I mean, not only he's, is he talented, he's one... He's not gelling with, 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 with he's the one team for team now, as well. And not only looking to the future, but, I mean, we think he have the capability to be in that setup. Yeah, I believe that he would, he would have performed well in that, in that game. Um, but again, I am not the coach, and he had to make a decision. And I think that the, the, the politics behind it may have given him some pressure. Um, I don't want to go into what that politics is, but um, yeah, remember but that, find that, remember. I find that. Very, I find that very... Um, what, what is the real issue, though? Because I've been hearing a lot of things about this and about that, and barring from getting visas and all of these other things have been rumors we've been hearing over the past maybe um, five, six months. What is the, what is the real problem with, with um, the, the, the Federation and Phoenix Academy? Well, the reality is, is Phoenix is doing what the GFF have refused to do and okay. has been ineffective at doing. So you find that you're in a position where for, say, for example, if Leon Bailey and, and Dujon Richards are on the front line of the national team, do the math of that and tell me how would it look on the, the GFF and the teams within the, the, their developmental models. Remember, Phoenix has remained outside of that for some time. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So that is one. Two, um, you have to also look at the, the whole idea People in Jamaica do not make money from football. 
-hmm. you know, and I've tried, I've tried to make this as clear as possible, but I'm going to try one more time. All right. So you got to bear with me. Yeah, man, go ahead. Yeah, man, go ahead. The listeners are listening. Football is governed, is, is a, a, a governed in Jamaica through the parish association. It's geographically based, right? So say, for example, you live in Harborview, you pay for the club of Harborview. Yeah? You yeah. will belong to the Kingston and St. Andrew Football Association, who is yeah. one of the parish associations that vote in the JFM. So to become a, a president of the Kingston and St. Andrew Football Association, you have to be coming from one of the clubs within that parish association. You get that part? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, so the president of the Kingston and St. Andrew Football Association, the president of the St. Mary Football Association, the president of the... the whichever one, yeah? they all come from a club. So the vice presidents, all of them, are from a club. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A club that needs to support itself and a club that can only make money through the sale of players. Transfer, yes. Yes. So when choose for the presidency of the Jamaica Football Federation, I remember one time I decided I was going to I was naive and decided I was going to try and change football in Jamaica through trying to be the president and help. And I realized that it's a parish association that vote for the president. Presidency. So they all come together and they vote one of their own from within the parish association to become president. So the president of the JFF is attached yeah. to a is attached to a club. The vice president is attached to a club. Yes. The, the chairman of the technical committee, Rudolph Speed, is attached to a club. Yes. Right? The the, the, the technical director, when they're down well, is attached to a club, Reno. Yeah? yeah. Yes. So the 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 all of them are attached to clubs. Now, if the only way to make money then is from transfers, and if, for example, wait, no, wait, here's where it gets dirty. If, for <laughs> example, if, for example, the British FA, in order to protect their homegrown talent, yeah, yeah. puts rules in place to try and minimize the amount of players that come into their country and to ensure that only the best get chosen. They, in their naivety, will say that you must have 75% of your country's last 15 games as a starter to qualify yeah. for a world permit. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Now, say, for example, you are the chairman of the technical committee and you control Cavaliers Football Club at the same time. Right? Yeah. Yes. You're going to make your and players you want, play. And in order for you, your player qualified. Your player qualified. Yeah. You have to pay 75% of those games. He has to start. Yeah, has to start. Not only play. The breaking up. So what he would do is he would push in his player. Yeah, yeah naturally so. He, he, yeah, I'm saying then yeah. that person would put in his put forward his players. Mm. Yeah, now to promote his club, to promote his club, then to further more his would club. be a conflict of interest. Yeah, conflict of interest. Whether his players are the exactly. best players or not. So yeah. conflict of interest. What? Well, push them. However, Jamaica had a, a methodology with which it operated, where you had the little fish being eaten by the big fish. So say, for yeah. instance, you had a little small club like uh, Bed Forest or Dwayne Park. Right? That yeah. club, that club would, um, 
that club would would um if the player was seen as being good at that club, a bigger club like Harborview or a Cavaliers would say, "Hey, we want that club, and we'll give you a little money for him." So, um, but then they're glad they give him up. Yeah, right. Because that's right. how things operate. Yeah. Then they buck up in a Craig Butler. <laughs> yeah, Craig Butler not going to do that. And keep his no. players. No, keep his players. My players from there are five, six years old, got all the way up. Cause we preach loyalty. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so essentially, what you're saying is that Jamaica football is not going anywhere. Well, the problem is, is that um, two things are good for us. But what has happened thus far is that they have, they have, they have um, this whole corrupt method of operation. Yes. Has, has kind of backfired in that. They they would say they would like they, they used to say that oh well Craig Butler players don't play in any local leagues so how are we to know how good he is they are because what we used to do is we used to just play practice matches against the Premier League teams and, and win yeah so yeah. but they said, well he's not playing in the leagues you know they use that as a quote so um the block whisper from under twenty remember yeah the block Leon from all. All of them, they block them from all competitions. Look at the level of Wisp and Leon Bailey, and they've never played 15s, the under 13s, the under 17s yeah. of Jamaica, yeah. or the under 20s. Yeah, and it's at the senior level that you see them playing. I mean, they, what did they just get good overnight? <laughs> they just woke up one morning and they were great. Yeah, no, it's it's the effort to push in their players that they had and. While they are doing all of that, instead of developing the players the right way, they were going around taking the players from their little clubs that were developing them and then just put them into games to represent their clubs. Not even real training. Yeah? Yes. So you, yeah. so you end up with players now that are just totally... Um, There's not, no foundation. There's no fundamental. No. No. Yeah. When you, you hear players that, that can only use one foot, Yes, yeah. yes. And you're playing in national. When you go, when you end up going into, to, you you wonder why this player is there for four years and and can't and don't play ten games yet. You know. Yeah. And it's sad because it's unfair to the, the players. You know, recruitment so the, versus development has been the order of the day, and it so has to world, change. And by the way, I resigned yeah. from Phoenix. I resigned from Phoenix. Resigned from Phoenix. Oh, well, you, you're, you're breaking you're, up. You're, you're breaking br- up you're, on that breaking news. Yeah, you, oh, well, you're breaking up on that breaking news. Last thing where you're resigning from Phoenix. Associated with yeah. I'm, I've, no, I've resigned from Phoenix. Um. I, I, we're not hearing anything on so this side. The younger generation, so that they can continue on the path. I continue to, and so we're branched off totally. Hold on, Craig. Uh, Craig, just Hello? repeat what you just said a while ago, please. We didn't hear you. You're resigning from Phoenix to give the younger ones. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm passing on the button. I'm passing on the button to the, okay. to the younger ones in terms of the development. With Travis okay. and, and Kyle and, and Shelly okay. and Nicola and Casey mm-hmm. to um, help guide the, the, the academy and keep the academy, the development of the players going. I, I however, am focusing now mostly on the management aspect of the players um, because in reality, there shouldn't be this one and the same. You should have a separate entity that does that. And so yes. I will be continuing on with Phoenix Sports Management which is a totally different entity from, from Phoenix, Phoenix All Stars so well, okay. Yeah. okay, so you're just busy. When I speak now, I speak, I speak from the managerial and commercial side of the business. Okay. I won't speak okay. anymore on the development of oh, so They can just, talk to me about my players, no problem. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're yeah. just an advisor to Phoenix then? 
I'm, I'm the father of Phoenix, but they are <laughs> running the moon show now. Yeah, we, know, yeah, yeah, the, the, we know you're the father, you're the founder of Phoenix, but now your role is management management, management. of the players. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Because they're going to need more of that. They're going to need, we have to keep developing that part of the business too. Because mm-hmm. remember, you know, we have many, we have players now, we've gone through a cycle where we have players who are returning from yes. professional careers mm-hmm. and now we'll want to go into management yeah. and so we're going to start looking at players from all over the caribbean and and jamaica and so we'll have to have a network of agents that are going to manage these players and give them the right opportunities because it's not just um jamaicans that we manage our players from from all over from mexico Spain, portugal suriname you know yeah. everywhere so we just need to to um to deliver on that part and allow Phoenix to continue. Travis Blaygrove is the head coach now. If you remember, Travis was our captain for many years, and he was the captain of St Andrews in Malta in the Premier yeah. League. And he has returned home, a family man now with his new baby and, and new yeah. son, and, and he's now the head coach at the academy. So I can get some time to focus on developing this part of the business which is so key and important as well yes yeah. man all right craig um thanks again man um i see you pushing the envelope once again which is good and yes you're kind of showing us um well not really but the people of jamaica um how to to really go about the business of football yeah. you know so and i like the succession planning yes. as i say you pass it on but yet still you're in and around it and branching off so players that as i said come back and doing other things that have the know-how because what you do, do you have the know-how and you're sharing it and as I said loyalty is key and within your camp so you're passing it on and more people within in and around you know what's going on and know what to do you're also giving jobs and opportunity to people here yeah. so which is which is a good thing so keep up the good work and um peter i know you have something that you want to say before no i just want to congratulate craig on on the progress and we love to see the progress and uh, yeah. even the, even his evolution from from phoenix club to uh, international football sports manager yeah is his progression so congratulations brother Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. Right. Thank, thanks, Mr. Butler. For and we know them can't stop you, so <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. I'll never try. Stop I'll never try. We know that. So right now, so but you're the first first people that know for sure now. Craig mm-hmm. Butler is no longer to be associated with Phoenix All Stars football. Yeah, man. It, it gone. It, it gone out on internet already, Craig. <laughs> it viral, man. It viral. <laughs> you're, gone vi- you're gone viral. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. But thanks. Thanks for coming and. Primal Craig. Thank you. You're welcome, my friend. Yeah, man. All respect, right, thank right. you. Thank you for taking the time out. Yeah, man. All right. No, no respect. People, people, you know, it is time for sports commentary. Um, Peter. Greetings. Time. Greetings I bring to all Primal fans across the world. 20 odd thousand people listening. Um, it's commentary time. We, we, we have had an exciting week. Deal. Um, so how was things done in Guyana? All went well? Yes, yes. All is yeah, you, you come back with a lot of trophies, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. <laughs> and an and accent. Are, yeah, and, and, a, and again, his accent. <laughs> 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 All right. So anyway, Chumps. Chumps. I saw something in Chumps. A lot of positive things. But you know me. I have to dwell on the negative. <laughs> I'm imagining. Uh, 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 5,000 at least. 5,000 athletes, um, um, I would say about 30,000 spectators um, over several days. And, and, and one small incident, maybe two or three small incidents. And Grace Kennedy, chairman, Mr. Don Webby, came on there and said something that upset me greatly. You know, there was a small incident and the man had gone some way. You know what I mean? If you say, oh, Grace Kennedy's going to pull out the money and, and all this kind of thing. And I thought it was a bit of a storm in a teacup, mm-hmm. making a mountain out of a molehill. I mean, <laughs> you, you, you can't go anywhere in the world. I suspect even in the Vatican, some people will step on a man to on a man say something. What does um, Mr. Dan Webby think of us as Jamaicans? I mean, Grace Kennedy is a company um, that was historically, they came out of the plantation and colonialism, you know. And uh, they, they probably need to have a more modern viewpoint 
of, of the people of Jamaica. I mean, all they know about is how much tin mackerel we eat, you know, how much <laughs> sardine and, and so on. They have a good idea of our consumption of tin mackerel and ketchup and all this kind of thing. <laughs> but they need to learn a little bit more about us, the people. I mean, I mean, you can't, what did you expect? We have champs. It, I'm sure they're in it for commercial reasons, right? Grace Kennedy must be sponsoring champs in order because they derive some benefit from us. In the same way that back in the original days of Grace Kennedy, the slaves were kept and fed in order that the slaves and servants would produce something. And even though, so Grace came out of the sugarcane plantation type <laughs> of thing and a kind of parochial or colonial imperialistic viewpoint. But my goodness, man, if they want to pull that sponsorship, somebody else will take it up yeah, sure. because somebody else is going to make commercial progress from it. And I don't know. I don't know that, you know, the fact that a youth win a race and brap, 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 you know, makes a gesture and another one impedes another one. It's a human thing. And in anger, the other guy push him. And that was the end of the matter. There was no gunshots. I've been to champs and seen gunshots fired. <laughs> so I think it was a bit of an overkill. And I'm not happy with it. Mr. Webby need to rethink his thing. I'm, I'm going to say something about table tennis. Um, the world rankings came out the other day. And Marlon, who is easily the number two player in the world, and the greatest of all time, who has been demoted to number four under the present system. He hasn't lost to anybody other than Fan Jendong. One loss in three months. Marlon has had one loss, won several tournaments, and he's demoted to people who have lost more than himself. Now, people tell me it's the point system and all this kind of thing, but there needs to be some kind of hybrid thing that reflects a player's level. Timo Ball, for example, is injured. You can't have Timo drop down to number 30 or, or whatnot. You've got to have a system. The U.S. system is the one I like, which says that if you're big, you're big. Ken Watson knows that if he's injured, he's still one of the two best players <laughs> around this table. <laughs> you know I mean? He's still a good player. So I don't like the new ranking system. Some people say it forces the players to keep playing. But then when you have an injury, what do you do? You injure yourself? Speaking of injuries, the youth were just run nine point something like a few days ago. 9.9. 9.9, Mr. Nkrumi ran. And you go and send the man to Carifta to go run again. And I guess what happened? Him injured. That was so predictable. That was so predictable and unnecessary. You know? This is not no Mickey Mouse time, man. A man run that kind of time, he needs two weeks rest. Why could you have our champs one week before character games? It To me, it's nonsensical. And it shows you how much you know about athletics. I don't know much, but I know that a man who just did it, the best performance in his life can't be asked to perform one week later again. That's a bit hard. No, there's a sport that I wanted to discuss. I don't know how much time I'm going to have to discuss it. There's a sport named Pickleball which is now becoming the most popular sport in America, fastest growing sport in America. It looked like tennis, but it don't have spin. It looked like table tennis, but it don't have speed. It looked like it don't have, it, it's, it's a, you just whack, whack this little thing that looks like a ball across the net. And you know, Americans love it. It's easy. It is so easy to play that a 70 year sport where somebody has said, it's where tennis players go to die. Old tennis players. But um, I watched a tournament the other day. Andrew Agassi, Andre Agassi, and um, um, Mr. Chin uh, Chong, and some other players went to play a tournament against each other. And they enjoyed it. And I guess, you know, that's what it is. But real athletes know that sports have to have a degree of difficulty to be of any challenge. I mean, have you ever seen those girls boxing with these oversized boxing gloves? Uh, the, 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 the box with it, or, or, or you try to play football with a, with a, a, a beach ball. That's, mm. that's the equivalent of what um, pickleball is like. <laughs> but um, there's a struggle in America now where tennis courts are being converted to pickleball courts. And the reason is simple. One pickleball court, one tennis court is equal to six pickleball courts. And so economics-wise, it is eating up the tennis courts of America. And pretty soon it will reflect in the tennis but more on this later. Um, big fight tonight. Um, UFC 287. And in that big fight, the undercard is interesting because um, Masvidal, Mr. Miami, is going to go up against Burns from Brazil. And um, I'm going to give you guys a couple. I see uh, one, of, one of my brethren around this table is losing a lot of money in the betting. I'm going to help him out with some money. Uh, so I believe that Burns is going to beat Masvidal quite easily. I think he's going to knock him out. And I believe that in the rematch 
This is the third rematch between Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, and Alex Pereira. And um, I don't know if three months, four months is enough time for Adesanya to make the technical adjustments necessary to, to, to beat um, Pereira. And therefore, my prediction is that Pereira will knock him out, perhaps in the third or fourth round. I believe Israel Israel does not have the chin to withstand, right? Mm -hmm. He'll try and hold him down. He will demonstrate superior jiu-jitsu, you know, stick and run and all this kind of thing. He's going to look good in the first few rounds. But you can run, but you cannot hide. And that uppercut and the right hook is going to put him out. And, and I also predict that it might well be the end of Adesanya's career. The next fight that is interesting is, is um, one week after that. Ryan Garcia goes up against Tank. Tank Davis. And that is an interesting fight. Ryan Garcia is a hard-hitting Latino guy. Good-looking guy. And Tank is... different ways short and stocky and uh, while garcia is light and so on and the question is who will win both have equal amount of power but i suspect that tank have a little bit more experience mm -hmm. i suspect that tank will keep going forward and ryan for the first time will discover what it feels like to be knocked out so i believe that ryan will be knocked out by tank so my pick if you guys want to become instant millionaires bet the house on tank to put out Garcia. Ryan Garcia. Finally, on sports. Um, sorry. Uh, I see Shakari. Yeah, breaking news. Ran, ran a, a, a very good time today with a wind of 4.1 meters per second. And a lot of people saying that means Shakari is back. But what people don't tell you is that that speed is as close to one of the fastest recording with speeds that they allow the race to go on. Anything above that, they would have to take the wind meter out. It would have blown the wind meter down. It would have blown the finishing <laughs> line. would have blown the spectators away. Only one runner has ever run in a faster wind recorded time. And that was, well, there are two times. Obadele Thompson mm -hmm. did a 9.9 .9 something about 15 years nine, ago. Six, and um, and um, the other day, the Japanese set up a device to try to get J Gatlin to break the world record. And they had it going at a speed um, of four meters per second. And they took it up and up and up. And Justin Gatlin ran 9.45 seconds. But when he tried to stop, the wind blew him out of the stadium. And, um, he, you know, that is the fastest time, but we don't even know what speed that was. This, it was going up at four. They sh shot the gun, and Gatlin ran, and the wind blew him, blew the finish line, blew everybody <laughs> down the road. Um, so I remember many years ago when there was a strong competition between Digicel and, and, um, Digicel and Lime. And Lime dropped their prices so low, and they had to, went to Digicel and asked him what was going on. And when are you going to drop your prices? And the Digicel man said, I'm not dropping my prices. I'm going to give Jamaicans what they want. Jamaicans love freeness. That's what the chairman of Digicel said. I was so insulted. He said, Jamaicans will get double bubble and all kind of thing. This is an Irish man, you know, and saying, y'all Jamaicans love freeness too much. Can you imagine? <laughs> Digicel, the, uh, the, who is cussing freeness, um, <laughs> When the, at stadium the other day, the, while the meet was going on, people exhibiting little Digicel signs, they call it gorilla marketing. And I'm saying, ha, 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 Digicel, you're trying to get some freeness, free promotion. <laughs> In fact, I'm taking them to court over this freeness that they're calling gorilla marketing. So now we want to know, Digicel, who love freeness, Jamaicans <laughs> or Digicel? That's sports commentary. What say you? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, is it not a note to tell you, boy? <laughs> I don't even know where to they start all, to it. They all love freeness. Uh, yeah. The whole world love freeness. Who don't want free market? And them not free, free world boss. Free eh? Peter, <laughs> they love freeness, but they're not free world boss. Uh, do you remember the phone lines are open? 1-876-552-7406. That's via WhatsApp only. 1-876-552-7406. 7406. Feel free to call in. Again, want to big up the listeners, big up the viewers. I mean, all over Fit FM 96.7, Facebook, Primal 4K app. I mean, I tell you, <laughs> they are all, all of freeness. Eh? I don't like freeness. I prefer to get my value for my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah pay, pay for, for the service and then they give me good service, right? But yeah, but I want, before I touch into anything thing else, Peter likes to say his predictions are, you know, on pinpoint. And he picked yeah. three winners a while ago. Oh, right away. 
But Peter Fury winners will not win. I'll <laughs> soon touch on that. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Primal Sports. I'm good, Mr. Garvey. How are things on your end? Well, I'm very good. Yeah, I came good today, you know. Which one, which one of them? I mean, I'm in for a lot of money, man. We're in for the New York, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> why wait? Why yeah. wait? I'm just waiting to cash it. You know, my 1057 today, you know. Who's that? Oh, you know, Shakara. Oh, Shakara, oh, Shakara, Shakara yeah. oh, that, that's what you meant on. Yeah. Yes, sir, I had a good summer Shakara today. Yeah. Oh, nice, and, nice. Um, she delivered because I've been following her this season, you know, and she has been running 9.6s and 9.7s in training. Yeah. So to see, I mean, 10.6s and 10.7s um, in yeah. training. So for me to see a 9.57 today, uh, win or no win. Yeah. Third fastest time ever. Well, yes, you win. Yeah, she ran in the wind and you win. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know this is so good today. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm flowing. I'm flowing. <laughs> it's the Easter season. I, I, I feel good about that because I expect, unlike most Jamaicans, to expect that uh, Chakar is finished. She's young. She's going to make mistakes. You know? yeah. Some people are saying, a friend of mine, um, Dr. Um, Dr. Berry, you mm. know, saying, um, high grade, you know, when we're high grade, I know high grade, he's 10.57 today. Yeah. So, we, we, we will take that one. I had her down to win that one. And people have to note that um, Alana Reed ran, ran 10 9 two, and that's the fifth fastest junior time, but Shakari has the fastest under 20 time ever. Right. Yeah, so she... She's mm. one it is. She, she's only 23. Yeah, she's young. So, yeah. I think Yeah. Um, uh, Shelly. Um, or the other runner. Um, Shelly. 35 plus. Yeah, Shelly. Mm-hmm. That other runner, D runner. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. mm. It's going to be a very interesting uh, Yeah. It's going to be a very interesting season. As always, uh, yeah. I think, I think this put back life into that one of the pieces of women. Yeah. You know, to see Shakari going up against our team. Uh, you know? Yeah, Shakari give us something to talk about again. But she has to produce on the big stage. When the time, the, br- the lights are bright, she has to produce. So. We want to see, you know, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Big news, quickly, because I said, you know, I know you have, you have know, 20 or 1,000 other callers out there, what they call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When it comes down to the, the Nadal, the big news this week also is with Nadal, where it seems like he won't be playing in the French of the season. Yeah, I pull out. He didn't drink much work than we thought. Yeah. So, yeah, he won't be taking, you know, the, 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 the first three court season uh, match. Obviously, that is coming up. He won't be involved in that. I mean, mm. the French is not too far away. Yeah, race for fitness. Yeah. So, that's big news, I think. Uh, I don't know my player. I don't know. I mean, he has been playing. I don't know Max Sharp or Mr. Djokovic. Mm-hmm. You know, I, uh, but we have to see what happens to play the French and going 36, going 37. No. Tough. The type of injuries, uh, Tough. He's having a lot. Is his, his, his comfort stretch from um, from Spain is having similar problems with injury. Alcaraz. Mm-hmm. Um, Alcaraz. Yeah. I mean, he plays so similar, you know, that type of game. Not, not about fitness, but about tall and, and rugged and strength, that. running up you and down. Uh, what are your thoughts on that, though? Do you, what do you what do you guys? I want to hear what you think about the choosing the future of Nada going forward and <laughs> Alcaraz rise and you know when when he comes to. Yeah. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Uh, we, right, we, no touch, we touch on that. Touch on that, so we mm. just stay on for that. But mm-hmm. the, the big news, man, Shakari's back. Ah, Shakari's <laughs> back. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. All right, yeah, all right thanks for the call. Cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we're we're just Nadal, because uh, Nadal, at this age and stage, it's going to be tough for any athlete to bounce back, and it's it's a serious injury. Is that hip injury? I, th- I think it's the leg again. I think leg it's and, probably. I, I leg think. Or hip. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure on the intent and the injury, but I seeing think, that he's in a race for fitness, and with these grand slams, you know, I, being I, separated for you, and French is definitely and yeah the most favored one for him, and for him to play and and to not able to play this and to come back will be tough. But one thing, he's a mentally tough athlete. Yeah. This might be, this is definitely the twilight of his career. Will it be the end? It's pretty much close to it, but 
mentality wise Nadal can bounce back from anything and I think that he'll probably have one or two three, maybe three more grand slams left in him and we're, we're seeing uh, the I, end of his career coming coming to I a think, nine I, I think that I think that's, that's a dream right there I think Nadal He's is done I think that the injury is piling up now and if it's a hip injury mm-hmm. it's problems yeah. you know everything is through the hips um I think Nadal is in real trouble. Yeah. He's in real trouble, especially going with, with some of the youngsters mm-hmm. coming out and then you have to go on grass, then you go back on hard court. Mm-hmm. And then that's the way he plays as well. You know, mm-hmm. I, to I miss this French ball will, will be it's tough. A big, it's a big one for him. Yeah. And I think Alcaraz, mm-hmm. um, his style of game for me is pretty much, as you say, it's not as... It's, what is on his side is youth. Yeah, but I, I so he's young and strong, but to endure and have a, he will, a long lasting with, with career will be tough. With, with that style of play, gonna be tough. Um, he will never, he will never be known or, or seen as one of the greats in tennis. So you have to rack up the stats. Yeah, you yeah, um, stats. he's shorter than um, Nadal. Nadal as well. Mm. I should be a bit, so. a bit. Mm. Yeah, man, I, I don't his height. style of play. I don't see him really. He, there's no. He will win, but to, to have a, a long career, it's, it's going to be tough as well. It's, 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 it's not going to happen. Again, even technical, even, even in terms of his technical play, he's not even Nadal. And Nadal was never known to be the most technical mm. player. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even in that, even in that era of his game, mm. he's a, a straight hustler. No, man, he have, he have ground shots. Man. He has, he no, ground I, shots, I know man. every tennis player has yeah. any mm. Wimbledon champion mm. or US Open champion must have yeah. some form of ground sh- stroke. But I don't think he's up that level. Play hard. Yeah, yeah, you have to play, play, learn to play more efficient. Yes. So can yes. he learn to play more efficient? Is the question. And I think after, not. After playing tennis from the age of six. Yes. So you think not? You think he I can? I think he'll probably win one or two more. Mm. But I don't think he he will be there for the long haul. Oh, man. In terms of longevity, yeah, I don't okay. think he's, he's going to be. His, his game is not built for that. Exactly. But, but I mean, well, to, I to, to stay away from injuries, mm-hmm. he'll be fine. But. He, he, I mean, well, he said two, three years for Nada, two, two, three more Grand Slam. I, th- I think you, you meant Novak. Novak. No, not to win, to play. Oh, to play. To at least play. Oh, to at least play. Yeah, if he doesn't play this French show, he might be done for the year. Exactly, exactly. And he pinches. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying he's coming, his career is coming to a close. So Remember Tyson Gay? Yeah. When Tyson Gay got that hip injury after 2009, yeah. when he ran a 9.72. Uh, behind Bolt. Yeah. Was never the same after he the hip can't injury. recover. Never the same. Bolt, so run important. out in hip. Yeah. Mm, yeah. The, the hips is so important, you mm. know. So if it's really a hip injury, mm-hmm. it's going to be tough to come back from that at that at, at his age. Even though we know the science is out there, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, that's, more, that's our take on that. But Kim, mm-hmm. I, 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 I Craig, Craig mentioned some things about the, the whole um, the football thing. Mm-hmm. I, I never looked at it that way, you know. I never, I know I realized because, you know, a lot of the clubs like Portmore, Portmore mm-hmm. is a rich club, you know. Rich? Got, yeah, man, they, mm-hmm. they got money in oh, terms they of money. transfers. Mm-hmm. They, they made millions and millions of dollars mm-hmm. in terms of trans, transfers of mm-hmm. athlete, um, footballers to the different clubs around the mm-hmm. world. Harborview, mm-hmm. Harborview was one of them, but Portmore mm-hmm. silently under the quiet. Mm. Maybe one of the richest clubs mm. because of transfers. But um, no, 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 no. imagine people keeping people out of the national setup. It's politics, politics, it's, and no, politics I, I and everything. That way, no, of course, the, man. The way That's for sure. People on looking and be like, we might go to the stadium. Mr. Producer, Mr. Producer. Yeah. So, I mean, people go to the stadium and be like, oh, yeah. how this player not out there playing? That's Why this player on the bench? Oh, you need to put in this player. But it goes to shows over the years. Things always more than it seems. You yeah. always won't yeah. expect this player to play that position and this player to be out there. But there's yeah. reasons behind why this player plays and who is playing and who is starting because to get contracts for these players, you have to play X amount. If the and then, the country, and yeah. then now, it's, they think it's better for them it's better for their club it's better for their pocket so it's always a setup where politics yeah yeah mm. it, 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 it is a and I can see where it's going to destroy yeah. it, it can destroy the whole system of football yeah. it will destroy the whole system of football in Jamaica because mm. yeah it yeah, will destroy the whole system of um of the development of football you know, mm-hmm. it, it is always about the bottom line and not the development of the players. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Prama Sports. 
Mm-hmm. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Prama Sports. Yes, go on, what? Go on, go. I listen to the program, all right, I mean, me almost, me, 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 of course, my, he would find the, find the, find the thread, and then me realize that joke, you know. Who's that? When tell me, it's a Grace Kennedy, our slave company, family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is this? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll just speak to the, the comment, though, about, um, when this thing about, Mm-hmm. Putting the sponsorship, yeah. I think everybody in Jamaica knows that us run more. Grace Kennedy, I give that the sponsorship. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna burn down Grace Kennedy. Yeah, because I mean, right. champs will not lose, and I don't By think way, Grace Kennedy will lose as well. Who is this? <laughs> Richard Blackford. Oh, okay, Richard Black- okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go ahead, Richard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, champs is a champs is the biggest thing. Is is the, is the most successful um activity. Sporting and otherwise, as that Jamaica has produced. Nobody, nobody, and anybody who want to challenge that, me, me take them on that. Yeah, I don't think, I, I don't think anybody would challenge you on that. And, and, you know, but the truth be told, the violence issues are something that we, we can't wait till it gets preposterous to try and deal with it. We yeah. need to deal with it while it, and, and nip it in the butt. These yeah. are still school kids. Yeah. And if we take a strong hand, mm-hmm. they will listen. Yeah. yeah. I yep. think too often, we try to start a money card to these mm-hmm. kids and, and we, you know, because we want to make it appear as if we're being the mm-hmm. kids must take instructions and yeah. if you provide them with proper instructions or proper examples, they're going to follow that. So what, 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 what violence issues do you think were at Champs? What violence issues you, you saw at Champs? Well, um, I, I, you know, in fact, I've said a lot about this. I, I'm a KC old boy. Yeah. I was very Disappointed with how the KC people dealt with the Calabar um, KC incident mm-hmm. with, with a guy from class two with yeah. 100 meters. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it, it happens yeah. it's just the way how sports work. The guy mm-hmm. running the guy's lane and they disqualify. Yeah. But KC basically, we used, but you know, my, my old boy, them, you know, yeah. know how them think and they utilize the rules mm-hmm. and the fact that Issa may have been a little lax in terms of the, 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 the response time. Yeah. Um, my personal view is that if you, uh, athletics is not a contact sport mm-hmm. and I can appreciate that the guy pushed the youth after, right mm-hmm. after the race, but yeah. when he did it a second time, that is no premeditated yeah. and you have to take a strong stance. Yes, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Right? I, I heard he was antagonized, but even so that there's no room for that, that, that second push again. Yeah, an adult should be there to, to guide him That's better. Really where my thing is, mm. the second push was unnecessary. Mm. But then again, it was it was just a push. In second again, it was just a push. And I must commend him for not even taking it further because we have had past champs incidents where people take off spikes, punches are thrown. So I, I, I was at champs in 19. Oh dear, I was going to point to that as well. When champs descended into chaos and yeah. eventually yeah. kick old KC a Calabar for the following for year. year. I think yeah. I'm trying to suspend him for five yeah. years in yeah. retrospect. Yeah, and I mean two fifteen year olds out there, I was surprised. We kill sixteen or we mm. kill thirteen hundred and fifty people yeah. every year we've been doing that for the past um teen years. Five years yeah. at least. Yeah. Right? That's way and too much. All that starts with this unconscionable approach. Mm-hmm. You know, when we take this reactive thing, somebody step by your toe and you want broke a fight. Yeah. If we learn and mm. teach them youngsters, yeah, that are not so good. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But we, even so. what my producer was saying that um I think that was a message when he was trying yeah. to get across. But well, I think that what my producer he was pulling mm. jobs. I remember because mm. I listened to him clearly. He said he wanted to see all of the issues, look at the films, mm. have a discussion with Issa, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, before he took any kind of or he, he, he mm. became emphatic with any position. But yeah. what the creeping incidents is mm. something that Issa need to look at, and Issa knows where it works. You know. I think the media has taken them out of context mm. and, um, you know, we have to be careful mm. with how we report things. Yeah, but again, is, it's for them on pay. They must spend 180 million dollars. That is true. Maybe mm. they could be considering the, the value of Grace Kennedy. Mm. Yeah. They negotiated it. I don't think they're going to give it up. No. And I think, um, mm. I think, you know, when you consider that Champs is a big event, mm. it's a success mm. for Jamaica. No other country in the world Runs a track meet with that age group, with that precision, 
and level of organization and 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 the kind of strong um fun appeal yeah, man. entertainment and international mm. reach that chaps us. And yeah. we need to, you know, while we're not the, 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 the bad behavior, the creeping bad behavior, we need to get them the kudos because they've done a very good yeah. But in, the, in defense of my producer, I just think he was saying that it's turning a mole into a mountain because to me, there was much violence as champs and I've been at champs before and even on track and in the stands, way more violence. So I think it was a fairly well-run champs. The few, the, the few instances that... You know, sometimes we are silence mm-hmm. when something can happen mm-hmm. and we don't say or do anything. Mm-hmm. With these youngsters, um, they see that as a as an envelope that you can push a little mm-hmm. bit for, across the table. Mm-hmm. And even so, to, to, to touch a point, and right. we as adults need to conduct ourselves better because you ever been to a, even a reggae boys match or a Premier League match and see how adults oh, behave. Yeah. We won't even go yeah. yeah. So we as adults need to, yeah, yeah precisely. So we're blaming the kids and to me, the to me, the kids are better than the adults. I'm <laughs> we, we shining light on the kids where they conduct themselves differently. Cause yeah, but, but I, I don't. I think kudos to the athletes. Be careful though, mm-hmm. how we adjudicate or mm-hmm. uh, you know advocate in terms of because the reality is mm-hmm. that age, mm-hmm. the age of the gunfighters in mm-hmm. Jamaica, yeah. the, the gunslingers and the murderers, mm-hmm. is the age, it's the same age that is running our champs. We mm-hmm. need to realize that. I've mm-hmm. spent the last 30 years writing and studying criminal criminality mm-hmm. in Jamaica. Yeah. And it's frightening. Yeah. The, the average age of a, of a gun victim in Jamaica is 18 and a half years old. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's the youth that must yeah. still run a chance. Yeah. But, but the, so and, and, they, and they get these avenues through the adults. I'm saying uh, that... We don't, we don't mm. provide a open gate for mm. the wrong you know, based on the wrong thing. Yeah. I, I'm, a, right. I'm agreeing with you, but I'm saying it starts from the adults. Uh, can I say something to sure. the caller? Mm. I was at that champs where the gunfire took place. Mm. I was actually in between Calabar and Casey because they were not, there was a fence separating them. And I was on one side of the fence as a countryman. <laughs> and I remember when those shots fired, I've never been more scared in my <laughs> life. That was my experience of champs. Yeah. So the, all I'm t- arguing is not that the sponsor do have a right to say something. It's a question of degrees. <laughs> And I think that is uh, uh, the quote that I read was that he was talking about Grace Kennedy pulling their sponsorship. Mm-hmm. Considering and, and, and the I thought that was excessive. Yeah. So it's a question, it's not a question of the sponsor shouldn't say anything. Mm-hmm. But Issa had taken measures against the act. Mm-hmm. And then he went and said something. He didn't talk to Issa first. Yeah. This was at Champs. I was mm-hmm. hearing his words at Champs. Yeah. Whereas if I respond to getting all the facts. talk to Issa afterwards and say, mm-hmm. listen, you guys need to control mm-hmm. what can be a bad thing. Mm-hmm. All right. All, right. All, right. All right. Fair enough. Right, Thanks, Carla. Thanks for the call, Mr. Blackford. Yeah, All right. Yeah, Mr. Respect. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, 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 you have fun? Yeah. You have I think what Peter was saying, though. Talk about it real quick. Yeah. You have a, you have a, but it's more of a, quick, as you said, a molehill turning into a mountain. Because trust me, what I, I'm saying, I, 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 this, I think it's a well run champs. I should come in that It was a well run champs. Yeah. And, and um, I'm saying that Mr. Webby spoke. Um, in the heat of champs, mm-hmm. and he mm-hmm. said that he himself had not yet seen the internet. Yeah, which he was get all the facts first. So all I'm saying is, as a sponsor, I thought, I thought it was horrible though. What? The, what the display after the race? I thought it was horrible. I saw it on TV. The, the push, the push, everything. The, 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 <laughs> I didn't think I didn't see I didn't, I, I, the between the two athletes. Did you that, see the, so the, the video of the guy uh, who um he felt that his dreams and his hopes were dashed as a result of the race? The no. guy was ir- ir- okay, inconsolable. Which one? The case he had it. The man was, was rolling was on the like ground and first, crying. Right? Yeah, but he was, I mean, he was in third position. Yeah, I, I um, does, and I it, don't think it, he would have finished look, better than third. It look, it look he, he was in a, he was in, pri- he was in it, the prime it, of his it, it look awful on TV. But it's, Dale, it's what I'm saying, I was there in the stadium. The, the, it was horrible. It was horrible. But I can tell you this. Yeah. Anybody here at age 15 would probably act different than him. Uh, I can tell you personally. The emotion that I, I saw I from the kid. Out, out in, 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 in modern times, no. Modern I, times. In modern times, <laughs> no. But maybe back in the days, back people would have day. fight and all. No, no, I'm in, not saying to fight. All cameras mm. and mm. the tattoos. No, he no, expressed no, his emotions. What I said, the second push. I did push, not push, like it. The second push. One thing is unquestionable, you know. The emotional state of the case he ran afterwards. The guy was rolling on the truck and crying and saying, no, my life's gone. And all that kind of thing. So, 
<laughs> no, I didn't say he said that. Yeah, I, I, I know, there's a video of him rolling yeah, on yeah, the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after that, mm-hmm. um, so his reaction was rather measured, you know. Because he kind of pushed the guy and said, What kind of thing that? Very measured. Back. I'm he sure he, measured yeah, I think reaction. he wanted to do more. And yes. he knew where he was. Yes. And he was over on the emotions. The fact that he's a school boy. Not to defend him. Yeah. But as I said, the emotions that he was going through at that point in time and the push, I'm telling you. But having said that, he, 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 he was finishing what? Fourth or fifth? No, no he, he finished had, fifth. He okay. was in third place there. Third or fourth. When he was in third <laughs> position. That's why the, that distance behind. And the thing, if he, he was time, in third position. If he ran the time and he ran in the semis, he'd have finished third. third. And he was running. And he was in third and he, position. And he was running uh, better uh, in the final. So you so and we're let, probably running a PB. Let, let me ask so you. because he's not going to win the race, you should just take it easy. So what is he running? Well, he's running for scholarship, I would assume, right? He's well, running. Well, for, he's running for a lot of things. Himself, his family, yeah, yeah, in yeah, training. Yeah, come yeah. on, Dale. Let, yeah. let me, let come on, you're trained for eight months. Come on, Dale. You're trained for eight months. What do you think? Scout from a university. Um, what, what, how do you think? Um, that won't affect anything. I think it will. No, that won't affect anything. Because personality. You know you're dealing with kids. You know you're dealing with kids. You have coach kids that behave badly for you and still go back and coach them. It's about, it's about, at that level, he's class one. He's a class one. Class two. Class two. Class two. You should, there are certain parts in terms of emotion. You should learn how to control that. Yeah, but at age 15. You know how I view Dale? I don't think he's 15. You know how I view it? This is a life lesson for But even so, it's a life lesson. the youth will be better next year. Yeah. And I think in the it's story that I have in my mind, I'm saying it, it was it didn't look good to me. But it, it had to happen. happen. No, it had to happen. It didn't have to happen. It had to happen. It didn't have to happen. Have to happen. We as circumstances give us a chance to grow, to learn, and to grow. But I will learn, and he will grow. I didn't like it though. I mean, I didn't like it. As Peter said, I think it was measured. Well, having said that though, I think he wanted to do more. You two guys went to Kingston College, right? Yes. And as most viewers know, I went to. Teachfield, teach mm-hmm. a, a school of gentility and humbleness. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. manners yeah. And, yeah. and balance and comportment. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. What Don't is it in why you're all so um, hyped up about uh, sports? It's not sports alone. It's, 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 it's just brotherhood. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more, you know. As Craig but says, loyalty too. He used to, Craig Butler said about loyalty is this camp. We're, we're loyal to our cause and we are see ourselves as, as brothers at arms. Not mm-hmm. only about sports, but so in, in life in KC general. People are more loyal than non KC. Yeah. I, I think it's evident. Yeah, um, it is. When you, when you look at other schools in terms of support and people giving back, it's, mm-hmm. it's quite evident. Is it just because you're winning? No, it's not just about winning. Mm-hmm. It's not no. just about winning. Even in the period that we weren't some, winning. When you go to I KC, have been to Manning Cup matches before I got to KC, and KC didn't win. We and my win. uncle carried me to Manning Cup in matches. In the 90s, we didn't, win, the 90s any, we didn't win anything. anything. Champs, and I've been to champs KC before. Won nothing in the 90s. Nothing, nothing, nothing. but table tennis. Nothing. They won table tennis. And Colts. No. And Colts. And Colts. And Colts. And Colts. And Colts. Manning Cup, yeah. track and field. Yes. We won nothing in the 90s. And yeah. I've been to matches before I went to KC. And you think the school spirit was as high then as now you're winning? It got higher. When you win it, obviously it's going to obviously, be higher. Obviously, yes. But it was, it's still it was high. Still, we still march to, to champs. It's we still, still went to matches. We still, have, we still have people out I, there. We the still thing, fill the stadium. Most people. Is, yeah. is, you know, when you read first form, you know, we don't learn hi- Christopher. When we do history class, yeah, we, we don't learn about Christopher, Christopher Columbus. We learn we about, about the, Michael Holden. You know, the greats have passed yeah. through school. We learn about the family. Do you know, that, you know, so, that, so, you know <laughs> that there's a book called <laughs> History of Kingston our College? History, yeah. Our history in first and second yeah. form is not about Christopher Columbus. Mm. And the book, and the the book revised each year. Because yeah. I'm in a book of History of Kingston College. Yes. What I can tell you, and as, a, as a schoolboy, I played at many schools yeah. against. And it was always intimidating going to Cornwall College. Mm. To play against those boys there. But it was even more intimidating to play against KC. Mm. Yes. I, 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 don't, um, I don't think you feared out well. No, 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 I was never afraid of them. Because no, did you I, fear out well? Was the, <laughs> yes, I did. I did quite well against KC. Um, but I was always, it was always intimidating to play against KC. Mm-hmm. For one, they, they were not very hospitable. Mm. Yeah, you know, well, not very friendly people. Yeah, not supposed no, to. But you cut us. Vibe from no, you you're friendly. Here <laughs> yeah. it's too, yeah. Eh? The hostility. Big, big, yeah, big, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's all about the, the brother. And, and, and even so, and if, the link up, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stay if, in touch. If more Jamaicans had the mentality or the outlook of how KC people are to KC people, the country would be a greater country. No, I don't know about that. The country I have a suspicion. Be a country I have a suspicion. We have a country be a def- there was a disciplinary country. action taken by Issa mm. against the athlete. Mm-hmm. And it was reversed yes. within within hours. Yes. 
And that gave me a, a feeling. And I'm wondering if the fact that it was a KC mm-hmm. athlete, that, that had something to do with it. The world is not level. We all know this, right? So that's mm-hmm. an admission. Of course. No, no, I see. That, no, that's a speculation. <laughs> No, but but we but, 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 but I, I guess it, I, I guess just in court, you know, you you present um mm-hmm. your side yes. of the story, and and maybe mm-hmm. the presentation was that if no, you have a bad track record you know, and you're going so to the court, the you're more to get. But if you have a clean track record, I, just, I, did, I don't know if I'm going to agree with. You. <laughs> yeah. If you go to court, you know you. Have a record, you'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to Private Sports. One prime. One prime. <laughs> I tell you. Mm. Yeah. What's up, man? Uh, what's the sporting <laughs> topic for the day? No, we know you're there. You're a Newcastle team. Wow. You're winning 2 1. Scraping through. <laughs> you're a Newcastle fan now. So I just I was watching them. I should have put some money from the first day of the season for both. Mm hmm. Man, you man, you win this morning, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think mm. yeah. this is a man you fan talking about Newcastle. Newcastle is Big, newly say, converted. Yeah, yeah. Ap- apparently so. No, but you're saying your Newcastle team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Give your opinion. Um, oh, you finally get some sense, cause to agree with Dale is tough, you know. When emotions were high, especially when it isn't, yeah. it, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it doesn't even matter your age. I'm telling you. Have seen all the tennis court officials? Yes. I've seen, I've seen grown men break rackets, hit off nets. But I didn't say anything about age. I said it didn't look good, period. I didn't mention whether you're, you're old or you're young. Mm. But age has to be a factor. Uh, no, but he mentioned age. Yeah. But, but I'm saying... But you have to consider... I'm just, I'm just saying when you're an athlete, you're, you're supposed to know how to conduct yourself. Yeah, but he's a young athlete. Especially in modern times. Modern you know, times. Yeah, modern times. No, there's no you're, modern you're about the time. I don't know if I'm understanding what you've said, you know. Are you yeah, saying that the athlete sport. did not show some restraint? The KC athlete? No, I'm not. I'm not. Not enough restraint. Yes, there was enough. restraint in a deal. Not it's enough. A push. Not yes. enough. Not enough. Um, not enough. I think you'd have worse if him to a box. I, I, I agree. There could have been more, more, but there was some restraint. You, you do accept that? Not enough. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, how, how would you not rate enough. it? The behavior even afterwards when everybody was holding him and mm-hmm. and say let's go and, and trying to rush 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 the athlete again. Mm-hmm. No, it was horrible. Mm-hmm. It was not good. It didn't look good. The, the one push was fine. I mm-hmm. mean, even the second push was fine, but the behavior after the second push, mm-hmm. when um the coaches that was staff emotion. Came, when the coaching st- that was emotion. You have to learn to I, conduct yourself. I, you I, to hurt. I saw that part. He was, he was hurt. I saw that. I don't know if I saw I was that in the, the stadium. I, I was yeah. in the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the, the kid the was hurt. Is that the stadium? Is the is to the yeah. I saw everything. On that's and off on the point. screen, mm. I saw his behavior mm. even even after that. You know, sometimes when you're at the match, it, the fans is fine, mm. but you see when it's when it's televised worldwide, mm. that is where that's that's where the problem uh, is. No. That's where I have the problem. Yeah. You know, it, it didn't look good. It didn't look good. Yeah. Especially in modern times, you know. You, what are you talking you, about you, modern you, times? You keep saying modern, modern times. times. Hear what I'm saying. <laughs> you're like you're from ancient Egypt. Palace in the palace. You know, Detroit versus yeah. Indiana Pacers. We, 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 a lot of these um, athletes, I know they watch other sports, mm-hmm. sporting events. And they, you do see these things and see the consequences of, of, of the action of certain I athletes. Saw, I watched ESPN so, last night and I see a baseball player yes. throw a right hook. Yes. That landed straight on somebody's jaw. Yes. And I tell you. Yes. That punch, him, that he need to change in profession from baseball to UFC. <laughs> Cause that clean punch him through, and that's right there live on TV. Big men throwing punches at each other, big brawl baseball, and this kid, fifteen year old, push yeah. a kid. What are you yeah, talking no, about? Don't look good for TV. No, I'm not it, promoting it, what he did, but I'm just saying it, stuff like these happen, and the kids no, show restraint. In terms of baseball, baseball is a different thing than athletics. Show. He's talking about TV. It's like ice hockey. He's showing on my TV. He's no, no, about showing no, on TV. You're expected to fight in baseball. You're expected. You're expected. To fight. No, it is an expectation in baseball and hockey. Yes. Yeah, so some sports, you're. It's on my TV to fight. regardless. I don't watch baseball I've, to see people I've fight. I've never seen... Some people watch hockey to see people fight. Yeah, the hockey yeah, different. Yeah, no, 
we, we yeah. always rush them on in baseball. Yeah. But I'm saying it in track and it, it don't look good. The non-contact sport. Ah, go ahead, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's a grown man. And 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 and, and what? And what? I'm just saying stuff like this happen. And the kid, the kid sure is strange. No, no, what, what John Drummond didn't come out to the race. Well, what, what did John Drummond? It didn't look good for TV. No, what did he do? I don't know. He never, what, what, was he trying to fight off the officials? Is that two? It's two different situations. Is just somebody refusing? Just like mm. um, my but Linford Christie refusing mm. to come out of the race in 1990, um, 1996. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, we we'll get back to <laughs> fight, fighting, attacking somebody is, 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 is no, no, no. no. Attacking somebody, trying to attack somebody, and 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 the field it don't look good. Don't look good. Don't look good. I, I, I would never agree with that one. Well, me too. I mean, the kids need to run. Mm. No, I guess soon, soon I'll try to find some way to some work around with that because um, I mean, soon, I mean, 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 it's in the Caribbean. It's all right, all right. One prime. You know, we have to run now. We have to run. We have a quick interview with yes. Robert Richards. Thanks for the call, but we'll touch on that after the... Yeah, listen. You don't want to combine... I heard it. Absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. I agree. We'll come to, well, we'll come to that in a second. Thanks for the call. Yes. Um. Welcome, Robert. Richards, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Prime. My Prime here. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, thanks for taking the time for to be with us. We have a, a quick five minute interview. First of all, well, you. you know when Mister Mister Mo and my boss calls, you know I have to respond. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tell you, can't yeah, you so we're, we're heard about the passing of, of the former great um, badminton player, Guard King. Yeah. To yeah. those youngsters who may not know, we've heard the stories. Tell us about Guard King and his career, and I mean what he meant to badminton in his time to where it is now. Well, there, Garth actually had a, a number of dimensions. You know. Garth was firstly the world type of new champion. A lot of people may not know this. But oh, Garth, when he went to Hawaii, that? Garth was the world yeah. taekwondo champion. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Okay. Yeah. So he actually started with taekwondo first before he returned to Jamaica from Howard University and started badminton in Jamaica with a club by the name of yeah. Shorter Giants, a big club, that same club that I joined back in 1979. And yeah. Garth was actually an A player then. And one of the people who brought a real interesting dynamic to the sport of badminton. He was a unique player, apart from his level of fitness, which he brought to the game, which made several other players have to step up their game because of how he trained with discipline. He also pushed for the changes in badminton to stop being just uh, us playing in the region, where at the time we used to just play. The entire team used to get together to have training for what used to be known as the Caribaco, Caribbean Badminton Championships. And for many years, Jamaica only participated in the Caribaco Games or um, the Thomas Cup, which is a world team event. The different tournaments around the world, we did not think or didn't think out of the box in trying to do those things. And Garth and I left um, Charter Giants and formed the Constant Spring Badminton Club and then took the sport where we said we would have found found the funding um, to start going to international tournaments. One of the first tournaments we went to which he changed, again, at push from Garth, was the Black Knight Open in Canada, then we went to the Montreal Open, then the US Open, the Atlanta Open, and from then the rest of the development of badminton to playing all these tournaments that you now see us now playing in developed. So it changed from just being a region, us playing in a region, which was the only thing we did, participated in then to become world. And Garth was a major player in having that happen. He also played a major role in raising the level, level of fitness in the A division. A lot of times we used to just rely on training with the club 
our clubs at the time are training with the national team to develop our physical fitness or technical abilities. Garth trained year-round. And because he did that, the other players, myself, the George Hughes, Sammy, the Tommy Liaos, the Chinese group, so we actually were split up in groups at, at that time where we, Garth and I dominated throughout the 80s and early 90s. We had severe rivalry between um, different players, and he played an integral part in letting that happen. He also brought, again, I talk about dynamics. Garth was interesting in that, I don't know if you remember John McEnroe in tennis. Garth, yeah, is, what, yeah. Garth is what you'd call, would have called a John McEnroe of badminton. He yeah. questioned the umpires, he questioned lines people, he threw rackets across the court. And many yeah. times it was quite interesting to, to see this. You know, it, it brought spectators who come to see what Garth would do tonight. But he did bring a big change to the sport. Um, his passing was a real shocker to us because Garth, Garth was one of the fit people, as we said. He was also a person who looked a lot about his health. Garth was, from as long as I've known Garth, Garth has been a vegetarian. So for mm-hmm. him passing at that age and passing from what we now know was a heart attack was rather shocking to us you know, in our Babylon community. And, you know, we, I again reach out to give condolences to both Lorraine Sinqui, who was very close to him for many years, God's family, Damian, Patrick, you know, his children, Sadiq, Sakina, and Sabrina. Um, it has been a, a loss for both our world, the IT world, which Garth was also a big move on Shaker in. Um, I'll speak for that about for two minutes after I'm finished here. But his kids and so on played a big role there. Garth also had the side, as I just mentioned, in the technological field. At the time when Garth brought down the IBM PC, he was the first company before IBM that brought the PC to Jamaica and computer business systems became the single most largest IT company in Jamaica when Garth was running it. Yeah. So we changed the, the face for Taekwondo in Jamaica with the Taekwondo from YMCA and the group that he built yeah. there. He changed the face of badminton and the story dynamic, which was in um, IT, IT, yeah. he just changed his indoors and continued to work in that field until he retired and had other, others running it. Um, there are other areas which some of you may know about. So that is also a, a, a ladies' man, Mr. Moody. Yeah. Would, have, would have known a bit about that, him being yeah. one. So, um, <laughs> I don't know about that part. <laughs> Not my producer. I don't know about that. Yeah. But, but God, he'll he be missed. He, he will definitely be remembered for a lot of things. You know, mm-hmm. and, you know, when he left and retired, he joined some other groups. He was part of a backgammon group, part of a riding group, and so forth. His major things mm-hmm. in Taekwondo, badminton, badminton and IT, IT, IT were his yeah. big stamps uh, on what he did for many Jamaicans to know him. And he Robert, missed. Robert, we have like a minute and a half left. What are you doing in Miami? I went to, came up here for business, but at you know, the same time, I have to mix, mix, mix business with pleasure, as you do. And I went to the Miramar track and field event, in which a number of our Jamaicans participated and did yes. pretty well. As you have heard by now, Bleaky, who I'm carrying to medal, if not create a lot of surprises in Budapest this year, 100 meters. So mm. our, men, our, our men, I think, are going to be a lot stronger this year at World Championships than we were in the last one. Mm. Oh, so who came they... third? I heard, I heard they Blake and, and Seville. Seville came one and two, but who came third? Um, You know, I... I, I didn't even look out to see who that was, you know. I was down there running with the bunch to get meet my boys in. So I'm not even mm-hmm. sure who came third. But I know mm-hmm. I know the boys are back. Which yeah. I so Robert, won. Robert, you're a you're a big super fan. You were there in all the accomplishments. Every time I saw Bolt winning a big medal, I saw you in the stands. Mm-hmm. Do you That's think one of these young guys will will replace Bolt? Bolt is not going to be a hard person to replace because Bolt didn't just run. Bolt Bolt was a huge just by his name, marketing. No, I'm just talking about the running part. No, I'm oh, talking about the running part. Running part we're just talking about running part. Seville will come there, not to necessarily break the record, but to come and probably even take the gold back from the USA. And it could happen this year. Oh, oh, that, yeah. oh you think so? Oh, that's a bold prediction, Robert. 9. 7. 7. It, 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 it I is predict a 9.7 when, when, from Oblique this year. If you guys think back, okay. if you look at the World Championships that was held in Oregon, Seville went there as a Team docile, you not even sure if he could have made the finals. Yeah. yeah. And if he had just gone with a little bit more confidence, he could have won the bronze in Oregon. One look back yeah. at the race. 
You know yeah, what I think yeah. happened? And he's under a good coach. Yeah. We're going to see major things happen. Today was the start of that. A 9.7. I predict 9.7 for him this year. 9.79. <laughs> He'll PB this year. Ball shut off, shut off in 2008, May 17th, if I can remember, on the Icon Stadium in New York and broke the yes. world record beating Tyson Gay. Seville yeah. didn't do that in, in, in that move and shaking thing, but this was Seville's start for things to come now. Robert, Robert Shakari right. ran a, a very fast time. What did you think of her performance? She had a hurricane behind her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it so true that you had to hold on to the stands? Uh, uh, if, you, you, if, if, if she was two pounds lighter, she'd have been blown away. <laughs> uh, All right, Robert. I'll leave it right there. But as usual, thanks for coming on. Yeah, man. Thank thanks, you. Robert. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. And, and I like how you're wearing your red. You know, it's a good representation from a good school. Thank you, Robert. All right, guys. Take care. Yeah, man. Take care. Take care. Yeah, that's it. We'll come to the end of another show. Yeah, yeah. But before we go. I mean, back on Peter's prediction, Ryan Gass, I'm picking Ryan Gass here. Yeah. I'm picking Adesanya, and I'm picking Masvidal. So, 0 for 3 for him. What I'm on earth is going on in I'm going what against my have producer. We learned nothing. It's, not a, it's not a matter of going against, but my <laughs> predictions are, yeah. I think I have the highest prediction rate on this show. So uh, No, I think you're wrong. I mean, so, I, I, after I, this week, we're going to see who leading. Next week, we're going to see. But even after <laughs> tonight, but I'm going to Adesanya, I'm going to Ryan Gass, I'm going to Masvidal. Next week, we talk more on track and field. We talk more in the NBA because we don't touch on NBA and coming to a close playoff soon start. Yeah. I mean, even more football always going on. Might need another half an hour. Yeah, <laughs> so even Damar Gray look like he's transferring to become a Jamaican representative, a reggae boy. We touch on that next week again. But check and feel. Yeah, man. Getting in the full mix of things. Football coming to a sort of close end of season. Champions League coming up. NBA, as I said, playoff. Big fight tonight. UFC, Adesanya. Pereira, he's going with Pereira, I'm going with Alessandra. I mean, I have no coach, I <laughs> coach, coach, there is back in studio. We'll be here next week again. I was three o'clock to four thirty. You know, we do it. Sports is our thing, sports talk. So, thanks to the viewers, thanks to the listeners on 96.7 Fit FM, down there in Chelani, Facebook, Primal 4K app. Big up to everyone. Low and love from the Primal Sports Decks. Who's up next? I think DJ Gaddafi. One love. Stay tuned. Stay Peace. tuned. Peace.